Thank you, President. And I speak as Chair of Parliament's Delegation for Relations with the Countries of South Asia, which covers Bangladesh. As we know, it's a relatively young country, still facing many difficulties, and is looking forward to its full graduation from at least developed country status. And part of that graduation is due to the ready-made garment sector, and government and manufacturers know that change is needed. So we're concerned that the government has decided not to take full advantage of all that the Accord offers in terms of assisting that change and building on progress to safe and inclusive working environments. We also recognise, as my colleague has said, the government's zero tolerance policy towards terrorism. But that approach has to be built on human rights. And we're concerned about continuing unexplained disappearances, extrajudicial killings, and the direction of legislation at the moment. And lastly, I too would echo the call for an open and inclusive, peaceful election in which all parties participate to give the people of Bangladesh a full and meaningful choice. Thank you.